Hello everybody and welcome back. I have a very special guest today, Only Alley Cat. She's here and we're going to give her Nuka Cola Girl costume a little bit of an upgrade right here on the Old Ted channel. Holy cow, um, Only Alley Cat, I want to say I'm a huge fan of your Nuka Cola Girl. Oh. I love it so much. What did you want to change? What is it that you want to do differently? Well, I've had this thing for about two years now, and it's seen some better days. It's just been to so many cons, and I want to give it a whole new upgrade with the weight and durability. So oh. we're running into issues with the backpack um, being made of other materials other than super lightweight foam. Foam! Go so, figure! <laughs> so um, I can't breathe in the helmet. No, no way. Oh, so, so, so yeah. two things. You want to get that backpack lighter. Yes. Fantastic. We'll make that out of foam. And you're, this is, this is, I like this, it's super cool. So, hmm, there it is. <laughs> I have some plans. I think we'll go and remove all this, reincorporate those foam, make some holes, and get some fans installed so you can actually breathe in this helmet. Allie, are you ready to do this? Yes, please, I can't wait. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, guys, we're going to do this, and we're going to show you how we do it right here. Let's start with a neck ring. I made a poster board pattern and traced it out into a three millimeter foam and cut it out at 90 degree angle. For the inside ring, I like to use an X-Acto blade. I find it's easier to get good tight curls. Now with a rotary tool and a stone bit, I'm going to round off the edges. And let's glue them together with contact cement. Now they're attached, I pattern out the front of the color using eight millimeter foam for this part. And for the collar to fit better to the body, I cut the bottom edge at a steep bevel cut. Before gluing the collar down, I made sure that I had uh, enough room to leave for the rubber tubing detail I'm going to use for the front and the back of the neck collar. Now the collar is complete, I'm going to glue the rubber tubing down with super glue, my favorite Zeppa Gap. To help blend the edges, I cut the rubber tubing at a hard angle. And with super glue, this helps blend them down. Now the detail is done, let's seal it. To seal the foam neck ring, I'm going to be using Flex Seal. Wow, I warn you, this stuff comes out heavy like a garden hose. Be careful not to get too close or you will get drips. I let it dry for eight hours and it's not bad. I can feel the durability of it, but uh, it does leave a little bit of a texture. Now moving on to the helmet. Let's take off the fabric detail and keep the black flex hosing for the detail. The clear dome is in really good shape. I took the fabric part and made a new pattern from that. Now I'm going to trace it onto black three millimeter EVA foam. Then I cut it out at 90 degree angles and round the edges with a rotary tool. The next step is I'm going to heat form the foam to put a curl on it so it will fit better to the curved surface of the dome. Doing a test fit and I can see where I need to cut off some of the excess plastic inside the dome. Now that the foam is properly placed, I'm going to use some blue masking tape to lay out where I'm going to apply the glue. Here I made some two inch foam plugs to glue on the side to give a good sturdy mount for the flex hosing to be attached to the back of the helmet. Now with a sharp blade, I'm going to cut the holes for the cooling fans. Before gluing the foam to the clear dome, I like to take a sanding stick and rough up the surface so I can get a little bit of bite to it so I can make sure the contact adhesive and the foam make a good bond. To line the edge of the helmet, I'm going to use black rubber tubing. Of course, I'm going to apply this on with Zappa Gap. A little change in plan. For the cooling fans, it turns out I only really need one fan to cool this helmet. So I'm going to patch the two holes I made in the back of the helmet. I cut out two small foam circles and applied contact adhesive to the edge of the inside and outside of the pieces. And I, of course, applied them together while the contact adhesive was still wet. Now it's completely dry, I'm gonna take a little bit of quick seal to help hide the seams. Now that the holes are patched, and I cut a new single hole for the fan. Let's mask off the dome so we can seal it. What we're gonna seal it with is black plastic dip. 
All right, now the plastic tip is dry, let's go ahead and unmask the edges. Now look at the clear dome, I've noticed you can see the inside of where the foam and the clear plastic meets. So to hide that, I made a pattern and it traced down to two millimeter black foam. Now the inside is securely glued down, it's time to install the cooling fan. And for that, I'm gonna use high temp hot glue. Now that the fan is securely glued down, I'm going to add a little bit of Velcro, double stick back Velcro, to attach the battery pack. Now the next step is to glue the PVC elbows down to our mounts that we have here with high temp hot glue. Now to glue the PVC elbows to the flex hosing, I like to use goop. I like to go on a little bit heavy to make sure I get a good solid seal. Now the flex hoses are placed the goop needs at least 24 hours to dry completely. 